okay, I wanted to say many things, but first of all, that when it comes to people questioning the, uh, the, the truth of, for example, the GCR, Global Currency Reset, so people arguing about it, if it's true, because for many reasons you could think that although the concept is accurate and the concept and the meaning of the intent could be uh, bringing well-being, being in quality and so forth. But then the, the actual application, the distribution, the, all the structure of activity cannot be verified. There's no signs anywhere other than rumors that are based on what they themselves say is reliable, unreliable, accurate, if you can believe it, if you cannot believe it. So the, 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 the issue of belief and truth in this culture is a source of conflict. It, right? It's a source of conflict. So, even if you know the truth, mm, you'll find it impossible to convey it. Maybe you'll be able to present it in some way or... But usually it's, it's impossible to convey truth. No, the truth is, this, this justice, returning to justice is based on, on the real reality that is in place forever here, which is based on this existence. Equality is based on existence. It's, it's natural part of existence. That can be maybe said by the GCR people, in other words, that I I happen not to not find it there. Maybe they, the English readers and audience can, can, can understand them, can hear them say something about equality, something about justice. Yes, they say this here and there. But it's not the truth that I'm missing in the reports. I don't need them to tell anybody the truth. I don't need them to tell me the truth. The truth needs not to be told. It's not meant to be discussed. It's not meant to be written in words. The word tr truth is a concept, an overall concept that doesn't cover anything other than give reason for debates. The only thing that really catch my attention though is what I prefer for truth. I prefer instead, I prefer the word honesty. So my question is this reports of the this GCR are honest. The only way that I find them honest, because I don't find them honest in any way, really. I don't find them any any honesty, any calling for honest discussion. It's all dictated information with the machine voice that you need to understand for yourself or make sense according to the intention that they express, you know. But you are not attended, you are not there. There's no... I don't feel that the DCR 
it, it is entangled it is in a place, it is real. I don't feel that it is real. If I was to search for emotional truth in it, I, I, if, if, if I had to, to look for honesty in their writing, in their communicating with the audience, on the contrary, what I feel is disregarding the audience is an elite system management that doesn't care about the audience. They care about the audience only in their concept. They think about audience values and they say that we have value, but they don't treat us as valuable. They don't treat us as valuable at all. Only the understanding that can be you know, derived from their intention as to project it, you know, as to write it. Only the very complex way that you must believe their intention, because their intention is based in reality. So on this, on this base, you have to take it all as it is, as they say, they expect you to be I call it a, a, a silent follower. The audience that is not allowed to be, other than have a new number and a new project for what they perceive to be the future. <coughs> so <coughs> I can say that I don't believe the GCR people. I don't really believe any of them. I don't, be, I, don't, I don't believe any of the agencies that came out. I don't believe them, not because what they say is untrue, it's because they lack the honesty, the human honesty, honest and, and, and human respect for the audience that they say they appreciate so much, that they have so much. So I don't see them give the value to the people they're talking. I see this, I see them disregarding again and again and again. They don't care. They change the day, they change the promise, they change the, the procedure. They don't, no matter even if it's completely true, there is disregard, absolute disregard to the audience. And, well, I can take it as an emotional disability. I can take it as a limiting, as a limiting, limited DNA type, which, by the way, I find in all uh, Romanic uh, languages, uh, cultures, all of them are limited, uh, other than perhaps the Germans and the Spanish, the Spaniards. But the main group of the Cabal uh, society who understand who, who are, who can be captured by this dream state, because it is, um, it is this, this system of, of currencies that we have here is a dream state, is, is, a, is a nightmare, but it's a dream state. And this dream state is being believed to be effective for the people, and although the people suffer it tremendously, whatever, but they still believe it. How could they possibly believe it when they know it's working not in their favor, where, where it's a, a prisoning, imprisoning system. How could they be hearing those terms and repeating them again and again as if it's a dream that they must dream, the, 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 the enforced dream. They, they meet me, they enforce a the dream on me. The nightmare. So when I wake up in the morning, for my this night world, nightmare, you know, all around. Remember this from when I was a child, and with the years, the uselessness, the valueless of this human existence, you know, it, it, it made me develop an instantaneous uh, instinct rejecting the whole it. So, yeah, so I'm experiencing 
rejection that was so strong in the beginning and still it's growing and mounting, became bigger and bigger and bigger. Now the internet has become the voice of the, of the Kabbalah. It's really, uh, they took over the internet. The internet was pretty free in the middle of the 90s. In the beginning of the 90s, you still had many browsers, for example, many search engines. You had a lot more many sites, a lot more many free uh, programs to do many things. I was downloading hundreds, if not thousands, of programs for free from thousands of websites in different ways. And I learned how to do many things because of this, because I knew how these things, because it was presented. And in this uh, old internet, you know, what, 25 years ago, There, there was a feeling of excitement. There was a feeling of free world that I was attracted and attracted to and moved to in those days. And that's why I even changed my direction. I started to learn about programming, about website building. So it was great hope in the internet. However, today, not only it's a big business where they sell all kinds of things, everybody is talking in English is actually a salesman. I think English culture in general has one father somewhere that is a businessman and he is selling all these things that they believe in and they say. And now they found this not only they sell everything, they also sell freedom, they also sell happiness, they sell freedom to the world, the beast, they sell, we are the change, we are the people, and they sell all kinds of things, all kinds of songs. But they don't appreciate anybody. They don't appreciate the audience. Menos, they appreciate Arabic audience. And they think those people over there are less than them. They are exceptional. American exceptionals and believe it, they believe this. That there is such thing as American and there is such thing as exceptional group of people. And that they are the exceptional group. And you have the, the Jewish people, you know, everywhere. They're also very exceptional. Today they have the holiday that they call Rosh Hashanah. The Rosh Hashanah, what it means, if you were a little bit into Hebrew, if you check these words, Rosh Hashanah is the head, Rosh is the beginning, the Rosh, the Rosh is the head, head, Hashanah is the repeat, repeat. So it's the beginning of, her, of the repeat. And the Rosh Hashanah, what the English call the new year, yeah, and translated it uh, in ways that uh, cover the initial uh, trap. Yeah. So today I hear songs outside in the speakers, big speakers in the air. Nobody sings these songs. The people here, they come from Ethiopia. They don't even understand very much. They know the word Rosh Hashanah. They know that the, 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 they don't know exactly what it means. They're very innocent and ready to follow those who gave them this shelter. They ran away from Ethiopia, which was the paradise, and arrived here without an ability to come back, to go back to their countries. So they are trapped in Israel. And they have to celebrate all this idiotic uh, culture. So, what did I say? Anyway. So that was my rant. I think it was rant. And Yosan Pedro, thank you for watching. Adios.